Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift programming tutorial. And this one I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play sounds in Swift. So, playing sounds is pretty essential if you want to create a like convincing app. So, oh, I'm surprised I haven't made this uh, video quicker. But basically, it's quite simple. We just need to use the um, AV foundation and then we just create AV audio players. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my. Um, my assets. So first of all, I'm going to import this audio picture just because, um, like, this will be our button picture. Then I'm also going to create a group. If I can just stop selecting. Oh, never mind. I'll just try and drag this out. I'll rename it. Oh. Okay, I'll just rename this. Uh, where's rename? Oh. I'll just rename this sounds. And if you have, if you have more than one sound, then you might want to. You probably want to do this. Um, you have to select copy items if needed. And I'm going to do create folder references. Finish. And here we have our sound. So now to play it, um, all we have to do is we have to go. First time I'm going to create a button. So that was what that image was there for. Now I can close off close these off and uh, now I can add some constraints to this button uh, oh, what's wrong? ok so I can set the image as what do I name it as? yeah audio picture that's fine uh, why is that off center? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have to edit that a little bit then. Uh, I'll have to edit this one and I'll make this 50 maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, I think that's pretty centered. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, 20. I think 20 is pretty centered. I'm just gonna test this quickly because I don't really like things being off centered, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think that looks pretty centered though. Uh, yeah, I think that's yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, you can't really see me clicking it, but I'm just going to create an action just to prove that I am clicking this. So button click, and I'll just print hello. So, okay, there we go, there we go. Alright, so now we can get to work with actually creating a sound. So, the first thing you want to do is import a, uh, you want to import the um, AV Foundation and then create a audio player, AV Foundation, and create an audio player. Audio player. And I'll leave this as an optional for now. And now we can just start creating the code. So the first thing we need to do is create a path to sound. And that's quite simple to do. We just need to let, let path, uh, not path to sound equals bundle dot main dot path for resource. And this is just what we named this. And oh, this is so weird. Uh, I think I'll just copy this, copy and paste, and then uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is what we had. And now what we can do is we can do of type. This is just a WAV file, so I'll just do of type WAV. And now I can do. The let now to create a URL equals URL path uh, file with path. I think it's file URL with path, and then yeah, it's just this one uh, path to sound. And now I can actually just we need to create a do catch let and wait, what's the problem here? Oh, we need to leave this as uh, we need to create this on optional. Now I can do a do catch let, uh, do catch. Sort of loop in case something goes wrong. Uh, catch print 
error and here I'll just do audio player dot try oh try av audio player contents of URL audio player dot play okay so I'm going to run this now and see how this works okay so I can hear it I don't think if I don't know if a recording can hear it but I can hear this playing so yeah that was how you use sounds in Swift try this on your own and you'll see that the sound plays when you hit the button so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial I don't think you can hear the sound because the uh, recording doesn't capture sound but yeah see you guys in a future tutorial bye